Welcome back, it's episode 3 of Economy's eViews tutorials. Today we'll be looking at dummy variables. This will be a quick tutorial focusing on two types of dummy variables, spike and shift. A spike variable is a dummy that you place on just one year within the time series work file. And I will show you how to create one. If you go up to generate and you can call your dummy whatever you want the purpose of this video is spike and that is equal to zero and you see the sample down the bottom here is for the whole sample and so when we click OK it will be applied to the entire work file as you can see here now the easiest way to apply a spike variable is to just simply go to edit here and if we add it to say 2005, just click on that, type in 1, click enter, it is that easy. This is called a spike variable because if you go into view, graph, line and symbol, you can see it creates a spike in the graph. And the next variable we will be looking at is a shift dummy variable, which all it does is apply a dummy after a certain period. So in order to apply this variable, go to generate, we'll name it shift, so it's all in caps there, shift equals zero. Again, very simple to apply there. But what you can see is it's all zero. We don't want that. So what you want to do is go to generate again, type shift use the same name for this equals one and just change the sample underneath here so we want it from 2005 to 2010 when you click OK you open it up and the dummy has been applied from 2005 to 2010 there so it's very good to apply this dummy if you're looking at an effect of something that happened in this year to, so 2005 and what its effect would be afterwards or before. And that is it. That is how you create dummy variables in eViews. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial. Uh, if you like, click like, um, hit subscribe to see more of our videos, and thank you for watching. Take care.